Hi, my name is perry -Anne and I teach on the Print Making at Home course. I want to show you some examples of the various different materials that, that we use on the course and in some instances there's ways that you can um, substitute some of the materials we use for things you just find around your home as well. So when I'm teaching I always just tilt my laptop down so that I'm able to do demonstrations. Uh, so I'm going to do that now and just show you a variety of materials that we use on the course. So what we've got here is a Perspex plate. So we do a lot of the printmaking, uh, the monoprinting on the Perspex plate. So really any shiny surface would do so that I've got actually a glass sheet underneath here so you could use glass. Um, so that's something you can experiment with, find an alternative. This is a jelly plate, so doing um, different sorts of mono printing. And this one is bought, but you can actually make it yourself. And there's lots of recipes online for that. You can make either gelatin or there's also vegan versions using something called agar agar. Something you will need to buy is the Caligo Safe Wash Relief Ink. Um, but if you only want to buy, say, you know, between one and three colors, that's absolutely fine. A really helpful tool for printmaking at home, so when we don't have a press, is what we call a bamboo baron. Essentially, it's just a flat surface where you can get a reasonable amount of pressure on to get your print. People have used all sorts of things instead of a bamboo baron, like um, jar lids, uh, mobile phone chargers, and traditionally, like wooden spoons have been used as well. So you can experiment with something. If, if you don't get one of these, you can experiment with something that does the job in a similar way. Roller is really important to have a roller. One or two is usually helpful. Palette knife, but you can just use a bread knife. Scissors, brushes. Various different drawing implements, pencils, pens. Cotton buds are really helpful, a rubber, kitchen roll, vegetable oil, really helpful for using as a medium. So most people should have that in their kitchen, jar of water and then a spray bottle. So you could reuse one of your, um, say, cleaning liquid bottles to put water in. Paper wise, most of the techniques we do could actually be um, used with copy paper. So if you've got copy paper, that most of the things we do, you can use copy paper for. So some people have just had that throughout the whole course. If you're wanting to invest in nicer paper, or Bible paper, which is this very thin, strong paper that's particularly good for monoprinting, and also rice paper. So there's various different sorts of Japanese, sort of thin Japanese papers that are really good for print making. And then you have, it's good to have a surface that you can work on. So I'm able to do all my printmaking in this very tiny space when I'm teaching. Really, I've just got this glass plate here and I have my roll out my ink here and then I print on here. So you can actually do it on a very little table with very, very minimal equipment. So this basic set of materials is going to get you started for printmaking at home. And here at the drawing school, we run various different printmaking at home courses. So we've got the monoprint, as I've just been showing you, and lino cut and dry point. In terms of materials, for the lino cut, you'd need to buy a sheet of lino and some tools for carving. And with the dry point, really all you need is a sharp material that can scratch into the surface of whichever plastic that you're using, maybe Perspex, for making your marks. And before the start of all of these courses, you always receive a fact sheet with a list of materials to get before the course commences. And as you look down the list, you may find that you have alternatives to those materials just at home around you. So what I'm going to do now is just going to demonstrate that. I'm going to demonstrate rolling up the ink and taking a print. So you can just see how it works on this tiny little space. So I'm going to roll out some ink. I'm going to ink up my jelly plate this time.
So just using copy paper, I'm going to take a print. There we are. It's just a simple black print, but done in a very minimal space with very minimal materials as well.